Oregon is shutting down family farms at the request of Big Dairy. It all has to do with the Oregon Department of Agriculture reinterpreting what qualifies as a CAFO. CAFO is short for Confined Animal Feeding Operation. This traditionally meant large dairy farms that feed their cows like this. But small dairy farms weren't considered a CAFO because they didn't confine their animals, instead opting to let them roam the land. A white paper from the department last year changed all of this. Now, merely bringing animals indoors for milking for just a few minutes a day means the operation is a CAFO. Let's say you decide to milk outside in the middle of the winter to get around this new rule. It's still not enough. Previously, farms with no more than two producing cows or nine producing goats or sheep were exempt from food safety and fluid milk license regulations, including raw milk farmers. Not anymore. Now, merely cleaning milking equipment or washing containers would now make a small farmer a CAFO. The department says this creates wastewater. They also say that these small farmers are CAFOs since they handle manure and clean their equipment. The Oregon Department of Agriculture published a white paper last year saying, quote, CAFO permit registrations are important for three reasons. First, to prevent water pollution. Second, to comply with the federal and state law. Third, to maintain a level playing field with all dairies holding grade A fluid milk licenses that bear the costs of compliance with water quality regulations. These rule changes will take effect on April 1st. Those not in compliance will face fines of up to $2,500 a day for a first offense and up to $10,000 for repeat violations, and these fines can be assessed daily. Small farmers are trapped because they can't afford the violation fines, but they also can't afford compliance. It would mean tens of thousands of dollars of equipment just to keep up with the new rule. The Institute of Justice is suing the Oregon Department of Agriculture on behalf of a small group of dairy farmers. Their lawyers claim the new rule is unconstitutional, violating the 14th Amendment. This rule change comes at the behest of Big Dairy. According to the department's own communications, the CAFO program received concerns from Oregon's dairy industry. The Institute of Justice is seeking an injunction on this rule, asserting that the Constitution does not allow protectionism to justify regulation. Since a quarter of Oregon's land is used for agriculture, this rule change could have a huge impact. Of the state's more than 35,000 farms, 84 percent are individually or family-owned, and 81 percent are under 180 acres in size. Family and individual farms have been dwindling for some time now. From 2002 to 2022, industrial operations grew by 60 percent. This means farming is being concentrated in the hands of fewer and fewer people. Currently, 3% of the state's farms account for three-fourths of all agricultural goods from the state. Should farmers pay up, or are they being unfairly targeted by the Oregon Department of Agriculture? Let me know in the comments. Now that you know where we've been, find out where we're going. Tune in to Ladies Love Politics, where you can stay informed without going insane.